Ahoy everyone, it's Wes and Melissa and we are here at the Boathouse at Disney Springs in Orlando, Florida. This vlog is way overdue. And for good reason. This has been one of our favorite restaurants here at Disney Springs. We've got a fun night in store. We're going to bring you guys along on an Amphicar ride, which is a car that will drive underwater. And they're also going to have a nice dinner. So climb aboard and we'll show you the ropes. One of the cool things about visiting Boathouse is their impressive collection of dream boats, like this Chris Craft right behind me. They have boats from the 30s, 40s, and 50s here. So if you're at Boathouse, make sure to take some time, come out here to the docks, and check out some of these dream boats. Did you just say our Amphicar is ready? It is ready, yes, I see the light. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, let's get going. <laughs> All right, Harbor Master, Red Six, splash down. We just got off the Amphicar. What a ride out there. It doesn't feel right sitting in a car getting <laughs> driven into the water. I know it was going to float, I knew it was going to drive on the water, but it just is really strange driving down a boat ramp into the water and splashing. But what a cool experience and what a beautiful time of day to do this. Such a cool experience. It is absolutely gorgeous out there. The weather was beautiful today. Captain Jim was awesome. And just going around that lake and seeing all of the Disney Springs landmarks on that boat was really awesome. If you guys are looking to check out the lake here at Disney Springs, there is no better way than to do it in one of these Amphicars. And make sure you request Captain Jim. One of the coolest parts about the Amphicar here is it is the only place in the world that you can have a captain-guided Amphicar boat tour. After that boat tour, I've worked up an appetite. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some good food. Let's go. We have a sweet surprise today. We do have a surprise. That'll be, uh, that'll be coming along here later. These are the honey rolls here at Boathouse and they are fantastic. They come out warm and soft and just gooey with honey. Um, I could eat a whole entire bowl of these, honestly. They are so, so good. No, I'd be totally fine with coming here and just getting rolls. Wow, that looks like a pretty legit drink. This is the shipwreck. This is the first drink I ever had here at Boathouse years ago. It is a blend of tropical juices, and then it's got a couple of different rums in it um, and some syrups, and it is one of my favorite drinks here. The next one would have to be this one over here, only because you get this cute little rubber ducky in it. This is the Duck Duck Raz. It is so cute. It's just so cute. I love that it's a little rubber duck ducky. Cheers, everyone. Ooh. <laughs> That's good. Look at this. Look at this cute little baby fork that sits on the table here. Look at that, babe. It's a little baby fork. Oh, for the oysters, right? Yeah, for the oysters, Is I think. It? Is it for the oysters? The oysters Rockefeller just arrived to the table. What do you think about those? These look absolutely fantastic. I never knew that Boathouse had Oysters Rockefeller, so it's something that is not on the menu, but you have to ask for them. They are known for their oysters here at Boathouse, but look at these. They look fantastic. I cannot wait to dig in. They look awesome. Go for it. I'm gonna put a little lemon on mine. I'm a happy girl right now. Uh huh. We're going to be ordering these every time we come here now. <laughs> Those are good. They're so buttery. And then that cheese and the spinach just, I mean, that is mwah, chef's kiss. Now it's my turn and I get to use my little baby fork. <laughs> Let's see, which one do I want to go with? I'm going to go with this one right here. Those are really good. They've got like that crispy Parmesan cheese on top and with that, that butter cream sauce and with the spinach. This right here is the way to eat oysters. Even though it's not on the menu, we highly recommend you ask your server to do the oysters Rockefeller. They take a little bit more time. So go ahead and put that order in when you get here and you sit down. But these are delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and have so my good. second one. Hey, I cannot wait to dig in. I got their special, which is the halibut, and it was recommended by our server. So I'm really excited to dig into this one. It looks fantastic. And then I got a side salad, and of course, 
the famous Boathouse mac and cheese right here. Look at this. I'm going to do a cheese pull right now. Pull it. Pull I'm going to do a cheese pull. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at the steam coming off of that. Oh, that's a good pull. Nice. You know what? I'm sorry, honey. I know you always have the camera, but I got to dig into this mac and cheese. So good. Let's get a good look at this fish here. Look at that. Yeah, that looks good. That looks perfect. That's really, really good. Light, flaky. It is cooked to perfection. Again, chef's kiss. I got the lump crab cake, and it's got an aioli sauce right here. It's also got uh, some coleslaw with it. Um, but back, if you back the camera up just a little bit, I'm going in for a bite of this first. That is my favorite mac and cheese out there at a restaurant, right there. So I will definitely be back to get some more of that in a second. But first, got a nice, listen, listen, can you hear it? A nice sear on it. A nice size crab cake. This is a big one. You got some nice aioli here. Let's take a bite. That's one of my favorite things to get here is the crab cake. It's a ton of crab, not a lot of filler. It's cooked really well. They got it seared. The aioli is really good. It complements it really nicely. The lump crab cake definitely is a winner here at the Boathouse. We have a surprise dessert coming, something that Boathouse is really known for and something that we've been wanting to try for years. So I am super excited for this dessert. They just came and they changed the spoon and the plate. So that means the dessert is near. Good grief. This is the famous baked Alaska here at Boat House. It takes them five days to make this dessert. And I came prepared. How tall is this dessert? Ready? Right, let's measure it. Hold on. Oh, this one comes in at about 11 inches. So it has marshmallows, Hershey's. These are oh little goodness. bits of Hershey bar. Meringue. Rocky Road ice cream, and then a homemade graham cracker crust with a drizzle, a chocolate drizzle. So what are you gonna have for dessert? I'm gonna go in and get like a little bit of the meringue and the Rocky Road ice cream right in the middle here. That was really good. The meringue is just really spongy. That Rocky Road. I got a little bit of this uh, marshmallow and graham cracker down here. I have to like back up to get all of this in. Oh my gosh, this is, wow. This dessert is an eye turner because as soon as it came to our table, everyone like stopped what they were saying and looked at our dessert. Yeah, they're all saying, who are the crazy <laughs> people? So if you want this dessert, you have to reserve it five days in advance. And they stuck a big steak knife in it too. <laughs> just to finish it off. They just stabbed a big steak knife in it. Wow, this is good. This is really good. This is no doubt the largest dessert I've ever had put in front of me in my life, ever. It's like I'm chiseling away at like a side of a mountain here. I'm really enjoying this, so. <laughs> We've been eating this thing for about 10 minutes and it's almost like the volcano nachos. <laughs> you just keep eating them and they just don't seem to be getting any smaller. I love the t-shirts here at Boat House. This is my favorite because I do love the Duck Duck Brass. I don't know, I might have to leave with that one here today. I kind of like this one over here. <laughs> Where is it? It says, corks are for quitters. Corks this are is for funny. quitters. Whiskey may not be the answer, but it's worth a shot. But they have all kinds of cute merchandise. If you like Boat House and you want to get some merch, definitely stop by the boutique. They have sweatshirts, they have jackets, t-shirts, magnets. I'm pretty sure we have one of these somewhere on our fridge. Tucked away in the back of the boutique is the custom design shop where you can create your own life ring. So if you're looking for a unique gift to take home, check that out.
We wanted to say thank you to Boathouse for inviting us out for a lovely dinner and boat ride, as well as Philip, Jim, our boat captain, Damon, our server, and Emily. Thank you so much for making this experience magical. Make sure you check out the Boathouse here at Disney Springs. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a like down below to help support our channel. And with that, bon voyage. These are the best Oyster Rockefellers ever. I mean... Oysters Rockefeller. What did I say? Oyster Rockefellers. These are the best Oysters Rockefellers. Almost. These are the best Oysters Rockefeller fellers. <laughs> this is going on bloopers.